time. Yes, May did not have a good time at a party. Understatement, May had a terrible time at a party. Drank too much, in which we learned that her father used to be a violent um, alcoholic. Traits that it seems as though May might actually start sharing if she were to drink. So perhaps she should not drink. Um... She tried talking to the boy she briefly dated, who she's clearly still kind of interested in. Yes, she did start screaming about Nightmare Eyes, and then she threw up on the ground. And B drove her home. I was like, oh my god, you are really sad. And Mae was like, I am even sadder than you could possibly understand. And then... May had a dream about smashing things, but I didn't smash a whole lot, and everybody laughed about that. But then she smashed, smashed the statue she was so mad about from college. And I did smash that. Um, and then we walked around and talked to people a whole bunch, and Mom was like, Gameplay element! You can only talk to one of your friends at a time, so choose wisely. And I was like, okay, you know... Greg rules, that's true, but B is way more dramatic and serious, and therefore I'm going that way um and in fact we are gonna go mauling with B um I think to me it implies that May and her mother were in danger because of her father's drinking and I don't think of that as being a drunk driving thing I think of that as being a drunk violence thing so that could just I don't know if they I don't know if they say that that's the impression I got um, and especially, like, me having an anger problem seems like that anger would kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, it was like Persona, we have to do our social links. Hi, Metaton. All right, so we're going to dive in and go mauling with our girl pal friend. Ella, are you ready? There's a controller in your face. Oh my gosh, we've got a little kitty girl. Okay, can I remember which button does what? Yes. Yes, gals being pals. Well, we'll see if they're gals being pals, huh? Yes, Hitsuki, I think that is correct. And that is how I interpreted it, for better or for worse. Hey, Chibi Ma! Oh my gosh. I will never get over how incredibly young she looks. Like... They did a really good job, even though she's not human and nobody's human, so in a way, like, you can't, you can't compare her appearance to other people's, or you can't compare her appearance to what you would expect a human to look like, um, but you still really understand why everybody thinks she's a child, because she, she acts like one, but she also really looks like one. Oh my god, yes, no, it is very, very 80s aesthetic. Oh, that's right. We found out that B's mom died of cancer, and May should not have forgotten that because it happened while she was living at home during junior year, when presumably quite a few bad things happened, including her briefly dating this boy, and then not dating him anymore. Um. No, but I mean specifically, like her size and her shape and her body language make her seem very young. Hi, Ella. I find it really interesting just how functional. May's parents seem to be now. Oh, was it senior year? Okay. Was it junior year that she dated the boy? Then? Am I getting my chronology wrong? I should be better at this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the internet. Murdering malls. I assume kids these days don't just go hang out at the mall. I obviously never went to just hang out at the mall because, um, I was a nerd. Um,. And at least in my hometown, that's not what nerds did. That's what cool kids did. Um, but apparently that was a thing that people would do. If you weren't old enough to drive yourself somewhere, but you wanted to go hang out for several hours without your parents around, you would go to the mall. Apparently. Not shop, just like hang out and eat at the food court. I don't know. Anyway, they seem to have been a thing of the 80s and early to mid 90s. And then I guess the internet showed up. Oh no, look at how everything is closed. 
I love how her speech bubble thingy, like, did you see the edge of that moved as she walked? It's pretty great. Yeah, no, I feel like shopping malls are a quintessentially American experience. I mean, those of you, if there are any of you who, I mean, I think we've got at least one person here who's not American, although most of the European contingent will probably have to see this in the VOD or YouTube, so... European contingent, if you're watching this in the future, report back on the status of shopping malls in your country versus shopping malls in America from the past. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Who buys a carousel? A really rich person. Oh no! Also, <laughs> and just wear it all the time. Oh, goodness. I'm looking for things that I can mash the interact button with. Oh, I guess I can't just jump. Wait, no, I can't just jump. Where's my jump button? Wait, hold up, May. May. Why aren't you jumping on things in the shopping mall? I am disappointed. I want to jump on all the things. Ha. Oh, May. I want to jump. Anytime a game doesn't have jumping or if it takes away jumping, I feel like somebody's cut my legs off. Dollar Empire. Too legit to knit. Okay, that is a great name. Thank you for following. I don't know. I jumped. No, no, no. That is that is so not true though, Hitiki. Remember, I jumped on the counters of where B works and was jumping around on the counters and she didn't respond. So, I assume. <laughs> There you go, Proto. That is, in fact, the correct quote. <laughs> I will jump on everything. And everyone! If I can jump on people's heads. Oh, no! May is not very th thoughtful. I can't jump, I can't jump, I can't jump! Oh, my God. Hold up. Is this... Your book crush is a really great name for a band. Is this hot topic? You rev. <laughs> I used to be scared of going to hot topic when I was much younger. Unsurprisingly, perhaps, I, I was like, I'm not cool enough. They're going to know I'm not cool enough. Eventually, it wound up being once you could like get like nerdy shirts with nerdy things on them. Especially when like 80s fantasy movies kind of made a resurgent on resurgence. I uh Whew, Ella, I am gonna start sneezing really soon. Like this is a lot of cat fur. Oh, you just stumbled getting off of my lap. Okay, well my lap is now disgustingly covered in cat fur, and soon my nose will be too. <laughs> if I have to go blow my nose or something like that to decatify myself. I uh, yes, I am allergic to my cats. Whew! <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, I would actually go to Hot Topic. It became one of the few places in the mall that I would go because it was a great place to get presents for my nerdy friends and sister. No, there's a couple of categories of malls, and malls within those categories feel the same. So, like, a Galleria Fancy Pants Mall will feel different than a regular mall. Ha <laughs> I think is I always loved like fantasy clothing and there was a, an overlap between Hot Topic goth and fantasy and so there were always like these dresses that I wanted but was too scared to go in there and try on. Okay, yeah, the Discovery Store, the Nature Store had good stuff. Oh my god, we're gonna go in there. What? Come on, be Oh yes, we're gonna do this. Totally gonna embarrass ourselves. 
Oh my god. It's another disaffected youth. Oh my god. You... The most self-aware, least self-aware thing May has ever said in her life. Oh my god, you're right! That is totally B's dress. Okay, Goat Rider LD The Lamplighter Drowner. Oh, hey! Isn't that one of those um, constellation dudes? Hmm. I do really love guitar. Uh oh. Drama! Oh, 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 hold up. Is this an X? Is this disaffected teen an X? Dead party boys? Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. It does look like her dress, so yeah. Oh no! I don't know, is shopping at Hot Topic the ultimate goth or the ultimate suburban goth or... <coughs> Like, how are we defining gothness? Yeah, no, May is happy right now. Hello, friend. Oh, man. May, you don't have a job. I wouldn't be surprised if Hot Topic was just meme shirts. I think it was just reference shirts the last time I was there, but it was like references to things I liked. Nerdy goth? Hmm. Oh my god, what are we gonna look at? Belt buckles! Oh man, wait, Homestuck shirts on Hot Topic? Wow! <laughs> oh my god, a rattlesnake driver in a semi truck. There, oh. Did we summon you by mentioning Homestuck, Kaneko? Hmm. Yeah, because I was going to say, um, Hot Topic's been pop culture esque for like at least the past 10 years. Oh, that's right, they wanted to do Undertale, and Toby Fox wouldn't sell them the rights to Undertale merchandise, which I was like, yeah, go Toby Fox. Ah, <laughs> nice, still in light. No! May, no! May! No! May! No! No! May! No! Guess who has never shoplifted anything in her life, ever, nor even tried or been tempted. I once accidentally had a thing of deodorant hiding in my, um, my grocery cart at the grocery store, my buggy, and I didn't realize it was there, and I bought all my stuff and I left, and the thing beeped, and later I realized my deodorant was in there and I hadn't paid for it and I felt really bad even though like it wasn't really that bad so um <clears throat> no I actually wanted to go back in and pay for it but then I thought they might think I'd done it intentionally so I just freaked out and went home hmm 
Oh no, Kaneko, you and me on our serious crimes. <laughs> I'm a, relatively speaking, a law-abiding person. I speed, though, on the highway. That's what I do. But I don't go more than 10 miles an hour over because you're more likely to get caught if you do that. <laughs> Yeah, don't be like me. For those of you at home, kids, don't try this. Is she trying to impress me? No, it is a big thing. Okay, well, May. Yes. Oh my god, May. 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 I'm doing nothing. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. May. I'm like actually uncomfortable with this, but it's what May would do. May! May! What is wrong with you? I mean, at least, like, with the rat babies, I'm going to be doing crimes for the greater good, okay? I can justify that. Plus, that guy's kind of a jerk. Yeah, no kidding! No! May, no! May! May! No! May! Oh, my God. No! No! Oh no. May no. No. Oh my god. Uh. No, you can't, May. Okay, well, okay, that is that is true. B's got that. She's no, she is the worst influence. Oh, my God, May. Oh God. No, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God! K 
Can I try to pick her up? Okay, so just for all of you back home, don't ever, ever try to pick up somebody in a service position while they're working. Just don't do it. It's like the worst thing because even if they legitimately like you, it's awkward and kind of creepy. And if they don't, you're putting them in a really bad spot. So don't do it. You can flirt all you want to, but don't ask them out. I know, Menden. I know. That's why this is what I'm sitting on. I'm like, May, don't do it. May, don't do it. But she totally would. It's dumb. I mean, I am curious about the name, but like, hey, you can't just know. I mean, that would explain why you came back. Uh, I feel like crashing and burning everything as much as possible. Yeah, cat. No, it is super weird. People should not do that. So, like, <laughs> if you're ever on the fence about it, don't. If the person who is working in the customer service job is like, hey, you seem really cool. Can I look you up on Facebook or something like that? Let them initiate that if they really like you. Otherwise, just don't. Just don't do it. I'm embarrassed. I'm always vicariously embarrassed for me. Is anyone not vicariously embarrassed for me? Oh, God. Uh. Yeah, leaving a note, if you're going to, if you're going to, if you insist on trying to ask someone out, writing it down and letting them decide how to react to it when you are not present is the way to go. May is not just living her life, she's trying to ruin bees, and she thinks she's being a good friend because she's bad at things. May, oh May, oh May. Oh no, I don't like seeing someone make a mess of their life. I like obsessively obsess. I'm sorry that I'm agonizing over literally everything in this game so far, but like, uh, whatever, May. <laughs> oh, oh my god, are we gonna have a heart to heart about being awkward at flirting? Okay, this could be the best thing. I see, you're, you're doing the classic let me down, you've got somebody. Oh man, you've got a prison guard boyfriend, so you're letting me know not to mess with you. Got it. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. Yes, okay. Uh oh. Oh, I guess we're not in Possum Springs. Okay, is this a small town thing where, like, the mall is not actually in the same town that you're in? Wait, is... Is that Selmer's boyfriend? Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, my God, some drama is about to happen, guys. Yes, I think you guys are right. Oh, snap! Oh no, May! Are we gonna gossip? Are we gonna break it gently to Hot Topic Clerk? That her boyfriend is a crummy crummer? Oh man. Sorry, I got distracted by... Uh, there's somebody who asked me a question and I don't remember what it was.
We don't know if they're married. May doesn't seem to know that they're married, but okay. Oh, snap. Well, successful distraction, May. Everybody feels bad now. Okay, never mind. May has completely not realized that she might have just wrecked things for that girl in there. Hmm. I suppose that's true, Stolen Light. Hmm. <coughs> I know! May! Well, okay, maybe did a, maybe May did a good thing. Maybe May in there, other than encouraging B to, to do crimes, which is not good. Yeah, wrecking Dennis might be good from the sounds of it. I'm trying to remember, what exactly did Selmers tell us about him? I know that she doesn't like him, and I know that we all like Selmers, and she writes poetry about her horse, which is very cute. Um, so I've decided that it is ponytail time. Covered in cat hair. Putting my own hair up in ponytail. I'm Lauren. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe the- Hey! Hey! Maybe Hot Topic Girl and Selmers will meet up and maybe they'll get together and they'll like, like, flip Dennis off and ride off into the sunset together. I like that ending. Let's do that. Let's go with that. How does that sound? Does that sound good? I'm like writing my own Night in the Woods fan fiction right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh man. Uh, no, of course she hasn't. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well. The shop clerk is not going to be thinking about this. What are my ships? In this game or in general? Oh my god. That is a really weird thing. Okay. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> Oh, my ship's in this game. I don't know yet. I do like Angus and Greg. They seem to be really cute together. I really like May's parents together. They're really cute together. Um. <laughs> May is too confused and needs to not be romantically involved with anyone. May, my friend, I relate. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, okay, well, yes, Selmers and you, Rev Girl, they can hook up. I'm totally down with that. I think it's a ship Ship if they're canonically together. Like, my OTP ship of of all time ever is Final Fantasy VI, Locke and Sully's, and, like, it's canonical, guys, and anybody who claims otherwise is completely missing the fact that it's not even subtext. It's textually in the game. <coughs> hmm... May, you're just going to make her feel worse no matter what you say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold up, Chrono. You're going to have to define your personal idea of an OT3. Because I tend to be a little creeped out by Twincest. You could leave Locke in the Phoenix Cave forever. But you can't really, actually. Because why would you do that? Why? Oh, man. No, it's completely canon! No, it's canon! They're- They're- No! Their themes go together in the end of the game. They're the only- Like, the only characters, except the Figaro brothers, who share an ending. Their themes melt together. Their items are on the table together. They have a thing. They're completely together. <clears throat> it's canon. It's in the game. 
It's in the game that they like each other. I'm going to throw out Final Fantasy VI spoilers if we're not careful. This is like... This is like my horrifying fangirl moment, by the way. Like, if you like haven't seen me be like a frothing at the mouth fangirl before, if you challenge the can can canonity, can canon and canonicality, <laughs> the canon status of Log and Sully's as a as a pairing, I will fight you. I will fight you so hard. <clears throat> canonicity, canonicity. Yes. Anyway, yes. <laughs> anyway, yes, no, it's canonical. They're together. It's in the game. Like, their major conflicts, especially in the first half, but for sections of the second half, too, have to do with the fact that they don't know how to deal with having feelings for one another, given everything else. Like, there is a definite and clear parallel made between Locke's feelings for Sully's and Locke's feelings for Rachel, and there is no ambiguity about what Locke's feelings for Rachel are. Rachel even says, you have my blessing. Go for it, buddy. She wouldn't be saying that about his platonic life partner, you know? Okay. <clears throat> anyway. <sighs> Moving on. Night in the Woods. Not Final Fantasy VI. Night in the Woods. If you ever want to see this <laughs> happen again, maybe we'll play through Final Fantasy VI. And I will just ramble or um you can follow project esper the current um, working title for the final fantasy 6 musical that me and a bunch of people from the materia collective are working on in which case um you can be absolutely positive that Locke and sellies will be properly represented i've already had to fight them on their interpretation of Locke. i'm like he's my boy you can't get him wrong unacceptable so yeah anyway that's gonna be happening um, you can ship Lucas and happiness. I hope Lucas can be happy. All right. Um, <clears throat> Final Fantasy VI Grand Tour basically meaning Lawrence squealing. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's right, Nick. Locke actually literally isn't a thief. The only stealing he does within the context of the game's story is when he steals the outfits to wear his disguises in South Figaro. Otherwise, all he does is take things from treasure chests in caves, literally hunting for treasure. It's his hobby. It's how he got his girlfriend hurt. He's a treasure hunter. Literally, he's a treasure hunter. Ahem. <clears throat> But that's not canonical within the context of the story, Kaneko. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if you're still here with me for Night in the Woods. <laughs> but that, but Kaneko, that's the only time he does that. He doesn't do it a lot. Like, his job is not stealing from people. He's, like a spy for the returners a go-between between the returners and Figaro and he's a treasure hunter whose hobby involves going into caves and hunting for treasure I don't know hi <laughs> some triangles I'm glad to know that my ranting about Locke and Sully's from Final Fantasy 6 is bringing somebody joy they do have a ship name prepared for me I just don't know his class is thief, but functionally within the context of the story, like, he doesn't really steal much. It's, I completely understand his frustration. You know? Also, my cats are curled up almost with their backs touching. That's so great. Cats are so good. Okay, just Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI is serious business. Um. <clears throat> He only mugs if you get the thief's glove. <clears throat> what he was up to before the returners is being a treasure hunter. Like, literally hunting treasure. Yes, no, Tomb Raider and Returner Spy. That is his job. That is what he does. It's awesome. Oh my god, guys. I cannot wait for you to hear the actor that we've cast as Locke in Project Esper. They had us listen to the finalists and help, because I'm on the writing team, um, and they had us help um, make decisions. And I listened to the four guys they had for Locke, 
And the other, like the three of them, I was like, eh. and then the other guy was like, this is Locke. And if you don't cast him, I will fight you. I will write you a five paragraph essay on why you need to pick him. And if you don't pick him, I'm going to fight you. But they picked him. So it was good. He's really good. <clears throat> May is definitely a thief. I know, I'm such a troublemaker, Chrono. And here you were thinking I was a goody two shoes who never fought or stole. I did actually get into a fight with somebody in elementary school. We got in trouble. Zoom teacher yells at us. Okay. Anyway, back to what's going on in here. Oh. oh. Oh, that's actually a really kind of tender confession. Oh, B. Huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Street urchin characters are one of my not-so-secret weaknesses. No! Come on, B, let's do it! This is actually not the worst idea May has ever had. I can't I can't jump on that. Let's check out the rest of them all first. Mm. Smelter's country. Oh, the bookstore is gone. Vibes music. Oh, hey. Let's go listen to some music. Look, you better not shoplift here too, May. got some social commentary happening. That was a cute moment. So like the store is like abandoned. Honky tonk Armageddon. Oh my gosh. Honky tonk Armageddon. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm really intrigued by the name. God, I hope somebody has made Honky Tonk uh, Armageddon music. Ah! I'm really delighted by this. Oh my gosh, there has to be fan art of this. Please tell me somebody has drawn fan art of Honky Tonk Armageddon's album cover. You know, that's true. That is way more exciting than your uncle's. Oh, that band. Country metal is terrifying but amazing. You know. People posted like a zillion times. You say that like it's a bad thing. Weird horse. I don't understand. All right, well, Honky Tonk Apocalypse is pretty good. Yeah, no, I got the feeling that, that uh, B was bluffing. I was 100% sure. So that's the exit. Clearly marked exit. All right, 
let's go up. What? No, I want to go up the stairs. I want to go look at the atrium. B. B. I can't jump. I can't go up the stairs. Uh, fine. Look. I'm trying. I want to jump and I can't. It is the bee's knees. That is true, Chrono. I guess we're, we have no choice but to eat. All right. Yeah! Let's eat some food. I just knew she was going to stick her arms out like that. <laughs> I like how it's like awkward, but also there's closeness there. There, I've had a series of friendships that kind of go estranged and then you try to connect with the person again and there's, it's, it's really sad because the first few times you hang out with them, it's really awkward. And then you kind of figure out what your new normal is as you interact with them. And sometimes you can get back some of the same closeness that you had before, but there's always this kind of like awareness like, oh, you're a different version of you than you were when you were really close to me. And you have all these other friends that you didn't have before. And so when you talk, sto tell stories about what you've been up to, instead of us telling stories about what we've been doing together, it's you telling stories about what you did with your other friends, and me telling stories about what I did with my other friends. It's weird. So. Pizza taco. Pierogi burger, obviously. Yes. No, we're not carbs, May. Oh. Are, are we? Maybe we are? We're not made of bread. I don't know. No, bones in your burger would not be very good. Oh no! Does that mean you're sad? I would eat a pierogi burger. I'm not saying it would be good, but I would eat it. No, what was that about? May has no idea. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where this falls on the timeline of them being friends or not being friends. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Huh. Oh my god, high school is bad. High school is a bad time. Anybody who's in high school who's watching this, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. In my experience, life gets way better when you leave high school. Mmm. Nose ring situation. Oh, man. Yeah. My life was pretty good. Um, middle school was all right. I got bullied, but it was okay. High school, I had some major emotional issues and some challenges going on. Like my parents got divorced and I got in an abusive relationship and was struggling to maintain my GPA and not ruin my life or get myself seriously hurt. And all my friends had various other dramas of their own. So... My high school experience wound up being pretty bad. Although I did have some really good friends that I cared a lot about at the time. Um, but yeah, no, like, every few years, like, I feel like my life kind of changes in a dramatic way. Um, 
Hmm. A weird mixture of I love my friends, but also everything's the worst. I think is a really good description of high school. Um, yeah. What? Oh, well, that's good. They got, I guess, maybe a, maybe a happy ending. Hey, you know, if that works for you, kangaroops, that seems like a reasonable decision to make. This is going to prompt some interesting conversation, I think. See, I feel like high school is when your problems get bigger than they've been and there are somewhat more stakes, but you also are dealing with a lot of emotional instability. And again, again, like I was coming at it from like my particular place, um, which did not make things easier, but I'm also under the impression that hormones complicate things for a lot of people. They didn't for me, but I think that they did for lots of people. Um, so it's like, you're like almost ready to drive, but not quite. Does that makes sense. So you can be fine or you can totally crash the car. So, I kind of crashed the car, but not totally. Oh man, this is a good conversation. Oh no! Oh B, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I mean, does that bother you guys when I overshare with things like that? Like this. I have always grown up agnostic and I've had a had a strange relationship with how I feel about believing in things or not believing in things. Um, so. I've been kind of envious of people who have the certainty that it's going to work out because somebody's in charge, but at the same time there's a lot of downsides to that too. Um. I don't know. When I was a lot younger, I believed very strongly in magic and fairies and things like that. To the point that I think I was like in early high school, not old enough to drive yet, when I mentioned this to my mom and she nearly ran the car off the road um, because that was not what she was expecting to hear. So I learned not to say that to people because then they think you're crazy. Um, and then I had this like major existential crisis the summer that my sister went to go look at colleges between my parents they, they took turns driving her to um, or flying her to go look at colleges and that summer was the summer that I realized that death was inevitable for everybody including me which is like the ultimate existential crisis which Apparently some people don't have that smack them in the face, but it smacked me in the face and that was like my first really Truly terrible bout with depression like it was seriously bad um, So I kind of lost some of my faith such as it was in my own Personal understanding of the universe. This is a complicated and a bad time. I think it must have been 15 then that would be about right. My sister would be going looking at colleges. So, yeah. That's an interesting thing. Um, I carried that for a long time. I remember my parents trying really hard to help me feel better. Um, I actually wound up sleeping on the couch downstairs in the living room so that I wouldn't be all the way alone in my bedroom because I couldn't handle being alone. Like, I think if I hadn't been too old to sleep in my parents' bed, because, like, this is, like, so, like, my mom would be out with my sister looking at colleges for, like, a week or so, and so it was me home with my dad, and he would try to, try to support me 
while I was dealing with this depression. And my dad, of course, is really well intentioned, but really bad at talking about emotions. And he's like, ah, yes, the way to not worry about that is that you just don't think about it most of the time. And I was like, that does not help me, dad. And then it was my mom's turn to stay home with me while my dad took my sister places. And I don't even remember what my mom said. Um, it was really... Okay, Hitsuki, I do understand what you're talking about there. Feeling like, oh, I can actually be in charge of my life. For me, that hit, I think, a little bit at the end of college, but mostly largely in the past couple of years as an adult, like a full-fledged adult. Because um, in a way, I've kind of uh, lived... A f I, I, I walked a very predictable path in which all of my dreams seemed somewhat far away and distant. And then I eventually realized, you know... I was getting old enough that I should actually go after them. Um, and I made a bunch of life changes. And some of them were harder than others, but I feel like I'm getting closer to where I want to be. So. I used to, when I was much younger, try to talk to something that was out there. Like, I distinctly remember being in marching band even in I guess that must have been in early high school having conversations like I didn't ever tell my mom this stuff because she would have almost certainly had me taken in for a special um special care that's not what I needed special care for not the belief in magic no it was the like horrible depression so yeah it's interesting stuff uh Mm, poor B. Oh man, is May gonna open up about her time at school? No, May! This is the time, May. Say something. May. May. Oh no, Proto. I completely fell into a black void of self-destruction and hurting other people um, a couple of times. I am not going to say I'm the sort of person who held well in the face of all that. Resilience, um, I will say that I do have something, I do have the determination that even when I was walking on like metaphorical broken legs I would still keep moving, but I did not have resilience until recently. So. Yeah, Stolen Light, I think there is something really empowering in saying if it's going to get better, it's going to have to be us, but that means that we can get it better and there's not something supernatural fighting us. I remained convinced that I swore my allegiance to light versus dark, and they were these two great cosmic forces. And so even from a very, very young age, um, there was always some sense of like human empowerment there. So... May. Oh no, May. Hit two key. I think that's a really good, um, I think that's a really good way of putting it and realizing that you do have the power to go after the life you want and that you actually get to make some decisions is really huge. I think when I was in high school, I was too wrapped up in trying to fit everybody else's expectations for me that that didn't occur to me. Oh, now I can jump? Look at that. Intrus intrusive thoughts are definitely something that I thought... Um, that I was inherently broken but yeah so I think every few years or so your understanding of how life works gets recalibrated all right may are you gonna smash everything are we gonna get into big trouble hmm Roarford Gims sponsored by Dollar Empire 
Oh my god, May. We're gonna do this, aren't we? May! You're gonna get seriously hurt. I mean, probably I could just go down and talk to B. But let's be real. Oops, I did that badly. May. See, I'd be like, why would they have to tell you not to stand on it? Obviously you don't stand on it. Oh. What the heck is that? May, what did you just do? May? Did she just kill the lights? Oh my god. Not sad anymore. Oh, wait, I can control it. That was really cute. So I guess we're going to return things. Uh-oh. Ah. <gasps> I 
Me. Me. Oh, me. I mean, I guess in a way she probably made that that cashier's day so much more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You work with what you have. That's basically my motto, is all you can do is the best you can with what you've got. <laughs> Whatever, we had a moment. <laughs> oh. Nope! It's one of those moments. Are we gonna get ice cream? Are we gonna get ice cream? Ha 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 ha! Ice cream! <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Look at how serious we are. Hi, nervous black rabbit! Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was pretty great, though. Oh man, urban exploration is so awesome. <laughs> oh man. That's pretty great. Yeah, the notebook is pretty amazing. I'm really excited about the miracle rats. Oh, Bruce! We're gonna have to try to fix things for him. Pastor K actually seems like a good person. <laughs> Oh, Selmers. Yes, don't drink or going out in public is okay, but don't drink. Also, don't become a fire ghost and yell at people. I also like that Granddad is missing a D. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's pretty great. I remember. Oh man. Hi, Dad. Oh, goodness. Is this going to be a talk? Are we going to have a talk, Dad? This is bad. <laughs> Whew, I did not think about that. Oh, awkward. Mm. Never drink again. I went to the mall with my friend and stole some things, but it's okay, we gave it back. B is a responsible, upstanding individual. Dad is concerned about May drinking, probably also because alcoholism can be genetic. <sighs> hmm? Yeah, older and sad is a pretty good way. Yes, yes she has. <laughs> I've been an excellent daughter. I can't say I've been a credit to this family, but when it comes to being the daughter of my parents, I have done an excellent job giving them love and affection. Yes! Yes, 
Yes, of course. Oh my gosh. This is how my dad shows his love. Except it's usually watching boxing. Oh, hey, these are the dudes that were on the TV when I first got in. Such great sound effects. Dad, we watched some TV. I like all the cats everywhere. I just, I really like the mustache and the hat collection. It's pretty great. Hi, Nox. They have a cat clock. And they have a cat calendar. Hmm. I don't even know. Yay! It's a vision thing I can talk to here. Or react to. Give me things to react to, please. Person clock would be... I mean, I'm sure that exists. Oh my gosh, look at how dashing! The most dashing. Oh my gosh, my cute little family. <sighs> oh my god, a May calendar. That would be really adorable. That's exactly the sort of thing that May's mom would do. She like put together a custom calendar of like photos of May and May's like, oh my god, mom, did you really? That photo is from fourth grade. I look like such a dork in it. And May's mom was like, I think it's cute. Yeah. What's going on over here? Bedtime? No. All right, let's see who's messaged us. Sharkle. Hey, what did you do tonight? Ha. Huh. What did you steal? Oh. I don't think Angus is going to like that. <clears throat> Kid Aurora, actually, Earthbound Beginnings is on my list, but I'll have to play. I'd like to play the hacked to be easier version because grinding is a bit much for me. Oh no, there goes Ella. I guess we should turn off the cat cam, huh? Okay. She'll be back. I did play some Demon Tower. I actually wasn't terrible at it. Hi, Sirius Inc. Oh, is the is the more translated or the the uh, hack to be easier version? Did Tomato translate that one? Hmm. Oh no. Uh oh. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is, I relate to be easy mode and then a director's cut. Huh, okay. The graphics are different. I'd like to have the proper Earthbound Beginnings experience, but I also don't want it to be miserable. Yeah, Chrono, if you wouldn't mind. Next, we're going to play Crisis Core after Night in the Woods, but I'd like to do Earthbound Beginnings at some point. 
then I can say that I've played all of the other games, including Undertale. I think I'm funny. Nox, get off the counter, baby. What are you doing? Are you just chilling there? Hold on. My cats are being goofy. Hi, kitty girls. Ah, oh, Nox. Nox. Nox, get your face out of the sink. Come on. Come on. Baby. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> we no, that is true. Hey, I didn't get any water on you. <laughs> okay, this is a really, really cute interaction. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, I really like B's sense of humor. Like B has a sense of humor of like, yeah, 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 I like that. Okay. We're going to emulate it because it has apparently not been released on anything else because of licensing issues, so. Hi, Nox. Oh, wait, the cat cam is back. Hold on, let me give you guys the cat cam. Look at that! Ta-da! Cat! Oh, hi, Nox! 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 Is that so? Come here. Come here, my little butt! Oh my gosh, my little butt! Hi! Nelward is still doing music for it, right? He is a nice guy. Hello, baby. Nox, I think it's time for me to snooze. Nox, are you going to play Night in the Woods with me? Hmm? Mm. Nox says hello to you guys. All right, Nox, we're going to do this. Let us go to Betty Bye. Yes. I really like the soundtrack a lot. All right, Nox, you can get in your box. I'll pick you up in your box later. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you going to curl up? Oh, jeez, no. Hold up. No. May nightmares are not a good time. I find it interesting that her eyes always glow. Okay, this is not a good place to be. I'm pretty sure those are graves. Uh, oh! Hey, rolling peanut shell. Oh, there's glowing red stuff up there. That looks like a house on fire. Maybe I don't want to do that. Uh... There's a person. There's a shadow of a person. Oh, I guess I have to go this way. I don't want to go towards the glowing red stuff. I don't think that's a good idea, but it's the only option I have. Do you, do you like how everything just got a little bit more off kilter here? Oh, maybe I don't want to do that. Oh, man.
is that? Who is that? That's mi That's a cat person right there. And There's like an unfinished wall and buildings that are kind of transparent. <gasps> oh, I'm somewhere new. This is really pretty. I'm going to turn it up really loudly in my ears. Because I feel like this is one of those songs. You jump farther in this than you do. Two. Okay. I'm going to try this again. One, two. Nope! a triple jump on a power line? I mean, I guess it kind of springs you some. Got it. now. Oh, I've got three of the graves lit. There's one more over here. Okay. Hi. You are really unsettling to me. Oh, I can jump on that. I have extremely vivid dreams. Wow, everything just stops. There's somebody else over here. How do I find them? melody on saxophone. Who are they? And why are you here? So you are... Oh 
I wanted to look at my notebook. But I guess I don't get to. They don't seem evil. Okay, so you're wearing stripes. This music is amazing. But I hope you guys will bear with me as I try to satisfy my curiosity. Oh, that's the one who drowned! You're also wearing stripes. Were you all in jail together? Yes, the tuba has a plus sign on it. You don't have stripes, you just look... old. Like old-fashioned, old-timey old, not like old-old. And here we have this very strange eclipse. Ah, there we go. I love that there's special dream gravity here. Look at that. Hmm. I want to get a bunch of friends together and do this song. Violin is like interchangeable with flute. They're practically the same instrument. Who are you? It looks like a body. It looks like somebody, but that's not like my boyfriend, is it? That would seem too mundane for what's happening here. I actually know several accordionists. Holy crap. If I covered a song by myself, it would be this one. Let's just listen to this for a moment. Alright. So... I... If I hadn't played Lost Constellation... I would have been like, is, are these just symbolic dreams? But Lost Constellation really made me feel that there is magic in this world. So... May is clearly haunted by something. Um, I would wager, because this is what I do, that May's family is sensitive to the supernatural. Perhaps that's why her father started drinking. Um, perhaps that's why she isn't able to function. Um, maybe on her dad's side of the family, like going back to grandpa, if grandpa is dad's dad. Um, they're, uh, they're, I guess, attuned to the supernatural. Um, and so in a way, perhaps, May is being asked to defeat evil or help. The thing is that it doesn't feel like the supernatural is necessarily good or evil. It sounds like it's more complicated and harder to define in this world, which is 
good because in a lot of folk traditions that's how it is um basically bigger creatures than you who d would not think twice of crushing you in the course of their own arguments um against which your life seems petty um you know i have read a lot of fairy tales and folk tales from around the world and there's a strong russian feel to the folklore in lost constellation and if that's the case well have fun with that may <laughs> So the nightmare eyes, I suspect, are attuned to the supernatural world. And maybe not. Hey. Oh, no! No. Haha. <laughs> Do you have two R's in your name, too? I guess out of town, huh? <sighs> well, in most pantheons there's at least somebody who actually genuinely cares about humanity there's also usually somebody who finds humanity useful oh wait they've got onion news oh, that's right so ghost bear like I said I think that May is ha 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 Ha. Ha. Thanks, Onion News. So I have no idea what Ghost Bear is at this point, and I'm not entirely sure if we vanquished Ghost Bear. Like, it feels like we, um... <clears throat> it feels like getting the friendly ghosts to play music is... feels like a, a good thing, and therefore if that defeated Ghost Bear, then Ghost Bear is bad. Um... Or if it freed Ghost Bear, because I like Miyazaki films, and there's a fair bit of that, too. Like, I'm not entirely sure what I did there. What, Dad? I want to go into that place. I don't, I don't, I mean, they're not in the United States exactly with our world, so I don't know exactly what their history lessons are like. Oh, hi birdie. You can get the achievement for talking to the bird at every possible opportunity. Alright, let's go see what mom has to say. Hey, mom! That is not what I was expecting to happen. I was expecting that mom was going to be like, you know, because we are attuned to- Yeah, does her dad have the same bright red eyes that she does? The ghost bear had power lines on it? Really? Because there were the power lines in the area. We were definitely like in like an old rundown city feeling town. But then the bear rose up and I wasn't really... I don't know. So. Sinkholes. That's bad. Oh yeah, that's a bad combination. Oh, I completely missed the power lines on the back. Yes, having a very good time with Night in the, in the Woods. Interesting. So the sinkholes have something to do with it not being happy about having 
a town on its back. Hmm. No, just, uh oh. What are you up to, mom? What are you up to, mom? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Hmm, yeah. Hmm, I see. Ha! Madlands, that checks out. That sounds like something mom would do. Hmm. Alright, mom. I'm absolutely gonna go visit you at church. Is there anything else I can say? No. Oh, yes, there is! Yes! Okay. Yeah, you should get a job. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. I just... You never know. I'm going to give it like 10 tries and then I'm going to stop. I promise. Look, if there's anybody in the world who would reward me for doing this, I'd be... Mr. Scott Benson. Okay, that's not like that's going to change. Well, it had to try, right? If Possum Springs had a thieves guild, Possum Springs would be a much more happening place. Oh, it's raining! Ooh, super piano -ness. Hello. I'm going to jump on your head. Okay, well, I'm just going to jump on your mailbox instead. All the mailbox all the time. It really weirds me out how some of those paper things look like. <sighs> Drat. I right, squirrel, I'm on to you. Look at me. <laughs> I know, right? That's uh Look, I have to try ten, uh, like, ten times I feel like, I don't know, um, <laughs> well, so, this doesn't look like, cause this guy's significant, but he doesn't look like one of the musicians from last night. I hope you guys know I'm now on a quest to figure out who they are, especially because somebody dropped the hint that if I do things right, ooh. Oh, yeah, no, don't do that. Your laundry gets really stinky. Don't do that. Don't leave your laundry out on rainy days. It's stinky after that. Who is... No, it's not... A... No, me! <sighs> Although I guess given on, like, on the, the scale of May's... Oh, there's that pumpkin! On the scale of May's life decisions, um, leaving her laundry out in the rain is probably not actually up there for badness. All right. Um... If I remember correctly, isn't B in that apartment complex? I've got to jump on all the things. Oh wait, did I miss talking to people? And you know, the construction... I think is a good excuse for an invisible wall. Oh, that's right, there were fireflies in the intersection. I collected them all. May seems like her mother does a good job with the laundry, so she probably doesn't smell too bad if her mom goes into her room periodically. Oh my god, do you guys think... Do you think that we can talk to Selmers about the fact that her boyfriend is potentially shacking up with the poor Hot Topic employee? Like, can I continue to cause drama there? Because I would be totally down. I, well, I have to. I have to talk to everybody. I am, like, contractually obligated to speak to every living being. Okay, let's see. We could do things in order, or we could jump up here like we're not supposed to. Oh! Oh, no, we do have to go into the underground, because we absolutely, positively have to at s Wait, has this guy always been missing his head? Hold up, guys. 
Has this guy always been missing his head? I think I would have noticed that. No, like, seriously. I... Okay, well... Well, he was missing his head. Did I comment on it then, too? Okay. Well. Hey, there's a doggy! Puppy! Oh. Oh, wait! That's right when I'm up to the doggy. Okay. Statue in the... Yeah, probably. I'm just gonna wander through here a bit. Did I miss Selmer's? Or is she on this screen? Oh, I did miss it. Is, is no, why am I so bad at maps? So on the first screen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bear with me and my lack of directions, but at least we're jumping. Hey, look at me. Wait, wait, you're missing some of your coworkers. Did they get laid off? I yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That seems likely. We're just gonna be like May and act completely oblivious. Oh, right! I was on the roof. Not the roof. The wire, and I forgot everything. No, I just walked over. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I accidentally pun? Hey, I'm not a bear. I'm a cat. Oh, wait. No, she's a bear. What's worse, a pun that's intentional or a pun that's accidental? <clears throat> All right. Oh no. <laughs> Is she getting onto me for wearing the same clothes every day? Is her shirt an alien? Except it has ears. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Are you joking? Or did you accidentally or actually wind up... What are those called? They're not a pyramid scheme. There's another name for them. Like, well, you have to sell knives to your family. My sister got a job doing that once and my... Dad actually bought knives from her, which was kind of astonishingly thoughtful for my dad. Yes, MLM, that's the one. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Okay, let's be supportive. I think this is supportive. I actually don't know. Hmm. <sighs> granddaughter oh my god Greg no uh, how are how did any of these people survive childhood I am so glad that Greg has Angus to keep him alive I legit have nightmares about those things. Yeah. Yes, I do want to hear a poem. Of course I want to hear a poem. Hmm. Come on, maybe supportive. Wait, no, wait, no. Mm -mm. Hmm. Hi, Pep7. Are you saying you're a cool lurker floating around here? I think you're pretty cool. Wait, Sonic the Hedgehog did a PSA about not climbing into dryers because, like. Hmm. Fall is nice. Oh, we're having a bonding moment. Oh no, that means I'm gonna be able to do less talking to people. Oh, the worst. Do you like the dark me?
What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I just love that they all say that. Uh, it's just like Tarjay or the Shoppy. All right. Well, it appears that I have not destroyed Selmer's. Why can't I? I want to stand on your stoop. I want to be cool like you. I'm never going to be cool like you, am I? Well, let's go get yelled at by this guy. Hey, I'm on your stoop. Are you going to yell at me? Yep. I want to go back there. I want to go back there. How do I get back there? Okay, dude, I know you already don't like me, but what would you do if I, like, broke into your backyard and messed with your shrine grave thing? I'm pretty sure. Wait, was that a squirrel that just squeaked at me? Yes! Oh my god, can I steal its... Oh my god! I can harass squirrels! <laughs> Sorry. I know you guys are trying to have a productive conversation about this season, but Wait, no, May, come on. There's two of them. Oh my god. This is the best thing. <laughs> okay. Well, um <clears throat> Hey, whatever, I was resistant to doing crimes earlier. The only crimes I voluntarily did were the crimes that involved making B laugh, and it worked. So I feel like nobody got hurt because spraying somebody with water is less destructive than stealing. Unless they're like allergic to water, in which case I guess you've got problems. All right, so we've got some choices here. We can go visit May's mom. Oh, this is going to be a bad day for, uh, Bruce. Well, but maybe making... Well, Rel6, because when you have animal people in a story, you have to make that distinction. It's like, um, it's like Pluto in the Disney stuff. He's a dog, but also so is Goofy, <laughs> but not a mystery. It does seem very in character for me. Wait, okay, so, so no, but I'm still stuck on this whole like May and perhaps her dad's side of the family are like in tune with the um, the supernatural. So I wonder whether like her mom working for the church is connected to that, or if I'm completely making things up in my head. I'm gonna jump on this because that. Is a productive thing to do when you're thinking. All right, let's go say hi to mom. I know I'll find out, but I like to talk about things and try to figure them out. Occasionally, I guess things right, and sometimes I just make people roll their eyes. <laughs> no, but see, I'm being in character with May, and May would totally harass a squirrel. She'd be like, I'm just playing. And meanwhile, the squirrel's like, oh my god, why is that gigantic creature trying to murder me? I'm gonna go home and tell all of your squirrel family that I'm awful. And then you'll just throw acorns at me. Apparently squirrels do that. Like, I'm trying to remember what the deal was. But I swear it happened actually on UT campus, so like here in Austin, where like there was some person who was really mean to the squirrels when he was a student, and then he came back as an alumnus like years later and like the squirrels were still pelting him with acorns i hope this story is true because i love squirrels because they are sassy and full of trouble no i thought cats detected ghosts according to oh okay wait fuzzy werewolf said that i got sidetracked thinking about squirrels but do you see how cute my cat is all right Wait, what? Wait, isn't the sanctuary the big room in a church? Don't you know how that goes? <laughs> 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 uh, 
No, I'm sorry, May. I... I... <laughs> I was trying to figure out if her mom was going to roll with this or not. <sighs> oh, wait, no, she's not rude about the comparison between the church and the saloon. She's saying the cowboys are rude. That's even better. Oh, my God. They're so cute. No, I think... <laughs> like this monster you've created, May. Can I jump on... No. Oh, I'm always a little bit heartbroken when I can't jump on a countertop. Alright, so let's see if we can go in and do this. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna commune. We're gonna commune. Mmm. Horse facts? That is a great name. Is that like a rock fact or like snail facts or neither of those things? And ooh, oh yes. World building. Okay, I talked to you before. You were Pastor K. Kate. No, not Kate. Hmm. This is why I'm glad that my character writes things down. Oh, excellent. Okay, so you're like snail facts instead of like rock facts. Snail facts are facts about snails and rock facts are fibs. I also love stained glass. All right. So it appears that what we like in this world is about the same as what we say we like in our world. Joy, peace, and love. That's pretty good. I mean, most animals can commu communicate with humans to some degree. My cats will come when I call them. I can engage in negotiation tactics with Ella to try to convince her to sit on my lap. But she's done with that for now. All right. Do you think I'm going to ask her about my weird dreams? I think I probably know that I shouldn't ask her about that. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, like, fire-breathing, pope-eating... That is unique. Oh no, are we going to confess our crimes? I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> well, I don't have the greatest memory in the world, and since I only play once a week, I forget things sometimes. <sighs> see. This seems like the more polite answer. May has stolen. She gave back. I bet that wouldn't have happened if I went to hang out with Greg. Hey, they don't have no stealing hanging on the walls, so maybe that's not a sin. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> no, Greg was honest and upfront, and May would have been okay with that, which is why I think B is going to be a good influence on her. Because B made her give it back, so. The nine condiments. Hmm. So, like, earthbound. I had a, a friend who was going around a convention dressed as Jeff handing out ketchup packets and people didn't get it and I was very sad for him. <laughs> Is peanut butter a condiment? I thought condiments had to go with something else to really work and you can just eat a spoonful of peanut butter and that's an excellent decision. So I, I think you have to replace peanut butter with something else. What is deli sauce? No, peanut butter does not go with bread. Peanut butter goes with spoons, it goes with apples, it goes with celery, it goes with also bread. It goes with banana and banana bread, which is not bread. Soy sauce, that's a condiment. Tea loves, you got it. Chrono, okay, that's cool. You have like fancy international experience bringing in here. Well, no. You don't eat, the, you 
don't eat the spoon or you're gonna be really sad. You eat with the spoon. Peanut butter and Nutella. See, I find that peanut butter and Nutella don't go well together. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry for those of you who just joined and we have random tangents. Sometimes we discuss existential things, apparently, and sometimes we talk about peanut butter. Um, oh, an edible spoon. I bet that ex exists. Is wasabi a condiment? I don't know. I can't eat it. It's too spicy for me. Oh, you know what I mean, though, like... Oh, yes, no, that's true. We did take, like, a 15-minute detour in which we talked about Final Fantasy VI today. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, anyway, back to Orange Drink. Thank you, Chrono. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying yourself. Hmm. No, oh, but that's a lot longer than I think my friends who... Well... It seems like if you're forced to go to church by your parents, and again, this is only secondhand because I grew up super agnostic. Um, it seems like either your parents make you go until you go to college or they let you stop going around the time you're like 12. So I guess May is like awkwardly in the middle. Spiky, did you enjoy it? Did it hold up? Did you play the original Super Nintendo version or? Mmm. Sitting and standing. Isn't that a Catholic thing? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Preach. Oh, huh. Wait, so, so everybody else is sitting and standing too? How much sitting and standing, is it as much as a Catholic thing? Okay, you're going to have to explain this to me. Assume I don't know anything. <laughs> I did go to a Quaker service, a Quaker meeting, um, a month or two ago, which was super cool because I've always wanted to do that. They did not stand or sit. They just sat and were quiet. And actually, like, if you'll, if you'll forgive me getting real for a moment, like... I, I knew in theory how they worked and I'd always wanted to go and like when the like silence falls it's like this incredibly profound moment which is exactly what I wanted so yeah <sighs> talk oh yes let's please talk about Bruce is he okay it's really wet out mm. okay gears are turning that is good May, are you going to do crimes to help Bruce? Because I can get behind that kind of crimes. I really appreciate the non-gendered deity. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Pastor K. Uh, all right. Um, I'm not going to tell you about the whole nightmare thing because I don't yet know how that fits into the world. Wait, I thought communion was a Catholic thing. Is it not? Oh my god, you guys are blowing my mind. God, this song is so pretty. Can I go down there? No. Okay. Let's go visit Bruce. So here's the Pope. Yeah, and I certainly... <gasps> no, 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 no. No, guys, no! No, no, no. Okay. I don't think that they just want to make sure you're okay. I don't trust these people. 
Molly, please. Molly. Molly. Please. Oh, thank you, Molly. Come on. Like, if I trusted these people, I would be like, like it's like when, when Pastor K sticks her nose into his business, I'm like, she's going to try to help. <sighs> yes, no, they're definitely the property value type. I keep forgetting that Molly is my aunt when I see a cop and I'm like, oh no, there's a cop. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, it's Aunt Mall cop. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Okay. So like, what's the deal here? Mm. Oh, probably. My guess would be that there, if there's an opportunity for more dialogue, it's there and I've missed it. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm May doesn't want to talk about her thing either. I'm actually kind of surprised that B let it go. You know? This is going to be significant at some point. The fact that the music goes away. May, no matter how sad you get, cliffs are not the answer, okay? Let's remember that. I'm really worried about May. Like, I really am very concerned about whatever it is that she's running from. No, I don't think that May is responsible enough to cliff dive without dying. Other than her not taking massive fall damage off of, like, um, what's the word? Power lines. Bungee jumping. No, I don't think bungee jumping. I can jump. I can jump. I like that the pigeons sound like pigeons, like you can tell they're pigeons. Hang on, I've got... Nope, ah, I can do this. Wait, I did this thing. Paul runs on the cliff side. No, I'm gonna do my... City parkour jumpy jump. Wait, what is this? Piso Mojado. Is that a shopping cart? Hi, friends! How's it going? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is a mop bucket thing. Okay. Got it. It's been a while since I've had to use one of those. How can you draw in this rain? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, we are going to get along just fine. Oh, nice! Oh! Huh! Amateur filmmaker, that's cool. Let's... <laughs> oh. Oh no, please don't demonstrate. Oh no. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was actually going to be in my ears and I was going to be really sad. You know, I don't think they call it that, but... Yes! Come on, May! Let's back her up! No, that's, like, so right up May's alley. I need to introduce you to my mom. Oh my god, I need to introduce you to my mom! Oh my god. This is great! I've made a friend, she just happens to be, like, 12. Oh, yeah. Probably the disaffected youths. Oh, right. You were with the disaffected youths, weren't you? <clears throat> oh, 14. Hey, Aji. Yeah, I remember seeing your comments on YouTube. Well, welcome to the live stream. Have you seen Night in the Woods yet? Oh, that's right. I am killer. Okay, Knox wants to come get attention. Knox! Ah! That's not what I meant to do. Go long. It doesn't sound like an affliction you want. Oh! So, it's a super good game. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface so far. So if you have any intention of playing it, you probably want to play it yourself. Um, but if you want to hang out with us, you're more than welcome to. I want to feed the Miracle Rats. I have to check on them first. Hang on, Nox, come here. Are you getting in the way? You're getting in the way. All right. Nox, we're going to play this game together again. Hello? They were just the two of them, right? They're not dying every day, are they? Gosh, I hope not. I don't want to have murdered them because I'm a bad and irresponsible miracle rat foster parent. Nox, are we going to go do crimes? There were only two. Okay, good. Yes, no, we need to go get some food. There goes Nox. Man, people make fun of... Oh, 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 I haven't been to that one up there, have I? How do I get there? How do I get up there? Hold on. All right. We're going to have to redo this platforming because I just saw a thing. And I can't not do the thing. Ah! Okay, well, in theory... I can't not do the thing. Yeah, no, right, horse facts? Oh. Platforming. Eep. I feel like crimes for taking care of... It's like Aladdin feeding kids with his... Okay, step on this. Then I jump up here. Then I jump onto that stack. Yes! Yes! Alright. We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! Yes! Those are little weather thingies. I think. Yes. Hmm. Isn't the Nuke Possum Springs what the uh, graffiti in the cave said? Not cave. Alright. Oh, you can't just drop through the floor here, I see. Oh. Oh, right, that's where our band is. The old pickaxe is where B works. Hey, I didn't even intentionally mess with that squirrel. That squirrel just squawked on its own. Alright, guys. Are we ready for crimes? In the name of justice. In the name of compassion. 
Are we ready for crimes? I think we might be. Yes, we're gonna do crimes. Time for crimes. Crime time! Oh man, Lance, are you gonna be a bad influence on me? Alright. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, we did it. Whew, my heart is actually going. All right, now May, don't make a habit of it. All right. Hey, you know, I don't think that... Oh, hey, disaffected youths! So why is a thief the flute and not Lauren the thief? It, I mean... Not that I'm arguing, I'm just curious about the, the noun substitution choice. Oh my god. May. May. Oh. I'm sorry, May. Thief the thief. Okay, there we go. Twice as much thiefing. Alright, go, let's go listen to some sports ball. Hi, sports ball friends. Well, there you go. Horse facts is in fact inserting the word thief perfectly into the name. There you go, it's a poor manteau. We're inventing words all the time. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad these dudes seem happy enough. Oh man. So I should probably go feed my birdies. Not my birdies, my rabbies. Tetra, thank you for following. Wait, isn't. Mm, the word Tetra. A thousand. Okay, so it is this dude, and he's missing a head at some point. All right, let's get up here. Hmm. Boing, boing. Nope. Wait, I got this. Boing, boing, boing. Nope. Boing, boing, boing. Nope. Uh. I'm not succeeding at my boinging, guys. I'm sorry. So it's interesting when you're playing the daytime sections, like, it's easy to forget that the true nighttime sections even happen because they feel so different, which I think is pretty accurate. Oh no! Okay, well, I tried. Possibilities, no! 28 wonderful years. Oh man. Let's go. Oh wait, no, Angus is out of town. Hello. Oh no. Wait, I thought this was where Angus works. Am I getting confused? Grooving the music. Yeah, I thought he was out of town, but then I wanted to make sure that I was right. Okay. 
I doubt my memory. It should be better than it is. All right. I'm gonna go feed some birds now. Not birds. I just I keep seeing birds, and my brain is auto-completing. This is not a good idea. All right. Oh, I guess I should probably turn off my. Oh, I see. Oh, Ella, I see. Rats are like flightless pigeons. Okay, that seems about right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm too impatient to walk. Hello, friend. How are you? I don't remember. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a cat on that roof. Can I do this? I think I can. No. Oh, no. No, you see, there's a snoozing cat up there. Okay. One, two, three. Nope. Ah, no. One, two. Ah. Okay, so. One, two, three. No. Guys. I'm trying. I want the cat on the roof to be my friend. There we go. Yes. Hi, friend. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Well, I didn't grow, May. Roof cat. Hi, roof cat. You're my friend. Oh, hey, this looks dangerous. Let's do it. Hmm. Is this the tallest place in Possum Springs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have two cats, um, and usually one of them sits over there. You can see May like... Oh, wait, here's another antenna. Can I jump on this one? No. Okay. Oh, no, I did it wrong. I think. Oh, now I'm trying to remember. Alright, where are my rat babies? Rat babies, I need to save you. It's going to be so good. You're going to eat all the things. There we go. I found it. Interesting that they make you open the door man or the window manually. It definitely adds to the feeling of exploration. And <laughs> the busy world of Richard Scary goes through a recession. Kind of. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to feed our rat babies? <gasps> Wait, no. Where are they? <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. May, are you learning responsibility? I won't read too much into it. Right. Let's see. Oh, we need to go visit. Um, we need to go visit Mr. Constellation. Where are you, Mr. Constellation? Oh, wait, no. This is the church. Right? <laughs> you know, can echo if it works? I mean, he's probably not because it's raining, but I have to go visit anyway. Especially because I think I may have missed talking to somebody, and that won't do. I haven't tried Squizgar. 
but I have to... Oh, that's the wrong tree limb. Um... Oh, here we go! N no, wait. Here we go. I'm not the best at triple jumping, as you might have noticed. I really feel like it's an instrument string. Not like a rubber band, but a string in particular that makes that sound. All right. Oh no! Okay, yeah, so he's not there. Well, I tried. So now I have to keep an eye out for those weather vane things. Hmm. Boing! All right, who have I not talked to yet? I wonder... They're, all four of them were here yesterday, right? They're not saying anything. Usually they're at least acknowledging their, like, coffee. <sighs> Sorry, I'm gonna go 100% hanging out with B this playthrough. I'm worried about Greg. Oh god, no. Um, no, no, Greg doesn't have any self-preservation. Oh my god, what if this game causes, like, what if Greg gets himself killed because I'm not hanging out with him? Oh, jeez, that's bad. Oh, hello! Hello! Park store? Oh my gosh! I have a Russian friend! How does this even- Oh wait, wait, no, there was the bear last night! Hmm... Did the music just change? Hmm. I'm really curious, Kaneko, what your playthrough was like, because you keep saying that my stuff is different than yours. Oh! <gasps> the kitty meowed! Supplies. <laughs> oh no! Granola bar! <laughs> and now we're getting existential. Oh, we are! Oh my god, me! Okay, we went there. <laughs> we just kind of have this moment. Oh my god, now I really hope that May will use that line on somebody. And be like, look at how worldly I am. <gasps> yes! New territory! It's the food donkey! Hello? Oh, it's Germ. Oh no, Germ. Germ is gonna be like, it wants a ton of time. I was riding a bike and... Oh god, I don't know if I can even think of anything appropriately bad. Krusties? Oh, hey! Lifestyle homeless! <laughs> got it! We've got a lot of those in Austin. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really dangerous. Ho! Oh! We did see an arm the other day and then we poked it with a stick, which was perhaps not the right thing to do. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, that was weird, but okay. Where are you going, Germ? What is there to do out here? Oh, I see. There's a wall stick in the ground. Alright, Kaneko. Well, thank you for hanging out. It's good to see you. Okay, I can jump on this. And then what? And then what, huh? Hmm. There's gotta be something else I can do here. Maybe not yet. Mm, boing, boing, boing. Oh wait, no. What if we go boing, boing, boing? Nope. Okay, so I've seen the food donkey. It's not doing so hot. Ah, <sighs> poor Possum Springs. Oh, there is a thing on there! How do I get there? How do I get there? Okay, snack diner. Click clack diner, same difference. How do I do this? That's not it. Mm. I want to get up there and I don't... Mm. Do I want a hint? Hang on. Jump, jump. T nope. Jump, jump, jump! I want to get it though. What if there's a story thing? I am not a completionist unless there's something plot or cool related. And. Alright, let's go up. Hello, sports ball friends. Oh, right. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, no. Oh! So close! Okay. Well, that's what you do, clearly. So I can do it again. I think I can do that again. Let's do that, and then we're gonna go talk to B and probably be really sad about life. I feel like... Ah, so close. I do have to make it work. This is the problem I have with Dark Souls, is periodically I figure out what I'm supposed to do. But executing is way harder. Alright, we're gonna do it, guys! Do you believe in me this time? Okay, let's see. Oh my god, okay. Got it! Woo! Look at me! I did the thing! I did the thing! Okay, well we can do a dance party. It's not really dance party music, but that's never stopped me. Oh man, where are my cats to dance with me? Nox, will you come dance with me? She's just looking at me like, what is wrong with you? Whatever, we did it! I did the thing! I would jump right now, but my apartment is actually super crowded at the moment, so I would probably hurt myself. But still, victory! We did it! Alright. I kind of want to just go all B hangouts. I'm really worried about Greg getting himself murdered somehow, or just... I guess murder implies somebody else's intent. I'm worried about Greg's lack of self-preservation and the fact that his boyfriend isn't in town to keep him alive. Oh gosh, okay, so now I have to figure out... So this is when I try to figure out how metagame I want to be. Oh good, okay, well not an NCR spy is playing Victorious Ukulele. If it weren't so late, I would do um, Victorious Flute playing, but my neighbor might not like that. 
I really like B. I think she's more interesting. No offense to Greg, and I'm sure that there's some conflict in there because, like I said, I, I've been friends with Greg's before. But I gotta go check on B. We had a moment. We're gonna do it! We're gonna go visit B. All right. Hi. Hi, B. I'm standing on your counter because I'm a good friend. Oh, man. Oh, she's just chatting with me. <laughs> okay, that is the best response. May, I love you. Ah, she just rolled with it. Yes, we're going to be friends again after all. Mm. Oh. Yay, friendship. Yeah. That, okay, that's a good point. Does this mean I'm skipping band practice? Oh, Ram, I wonder if the... Fireflies are gonna. Follow me. Thing back here. Oh! Oh, look at this! Look at the fireflies! It is not accidental that they're showing us that right now. It is not accidental at all. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah ha. Knox, what are you getting into? Come here. This kind of reminds me offhand of the Baba Yaga type location in Lost Constellation for no reason. Exactly hit two key. It's interesting. Furnace. Is it haunted? Oh my god, she's gonna have like an entire creepy like room filled with dead things. where this is going. gonna have to uh, deal with this.
Ah. Uh. Oh. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. May you're good at this. I love that like the timing of that pause was perfect. Where you just like you could feel that it was awkward. person okay this what the heck <laughs> okay oh my gosh wait over on the right that thing with the eye looks familiar heh <sighs> heh 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 Oh my god, it's a baseball bat. That's significant to me. What is this guy? Do you like fishing, May? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, that kind of looks like it could come to life and be some sort of a furnace demon, so. Okay, May. Oh no. What would I ever break? I'm gonna break things. Okay, I'm gonna chill. Don't do it, May. Okay. Okay. Only look. Don't touch. No! No! What on earth? Oh my god, May, no. May no. Like, of course. <laughs> Not the baseball bat, though. Look at that. Like, this is most assuredly a baseball bat, but she's not touching it. May, did you send the kid to the hospital with a baseball bat? And that's why you use one in your dreams, but you do not take it in real life? This is going to be bad. What even? Oh my god, May, are you going to set this old lady's house on fire? I don't think I can handle this kind of tension. What am I going to do? All right. So full disclosure, for those of you who are new to my stream, I have an outright phobia of fire and it actually carries through into a fictional fire. So I think making more fire is bad. We're not going to do that. I don't want that. So we're going to need to open up the heat pipes. MacGyver, yeah. Oh. I don't think it, I guess it does actually have teeth. Yeah, let's make a complicated Rube Goldberg adventure. 
I meant to say invention and I said adventure because I'm busy reading, not thinking about what I'm saying. Oh no, May, what did you do? What did you do? Oh wait, no, this wasn't you, okay. Ah. No, May. As funny and in character as this is, let's make something disastrous. Fan on Nomi's butt, make it spin, rack it with the other fin. Oh my god, May. May. <laughs> May. There's <gasps> just this like silence. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I. Hmm. Hmm. Did we get stuck down here? Am I gonna have to beat our way out of it with a baseball bat? Am I gonna have a moment with the baseball bat in the corner? Because it is lit. It is glowing. Yeah, this is a probably a better solution. I'm gonna have to hit something with a baseball bat. Oh no, May. Oh no, I'm gonna hit the knob off with a baseball bat and I'm gonna have crazy flashbacks. No? Okay. Maybe not. Look, the baseball bat's significant. No. No, no, May, no. What are you. No, May. What? Oh god, no. May. Oh no. Oh my god. May, are we really going to do this? Oh my god. A tool for beating. Hmm. They had to reuse that animation. The music is way cooler than it needs to be. I guess that's the point. <gasps> Maybe I could just not? Hey, what if I just like knock the door? No, 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 no. Oh my god. No. Oh, we didn't die.
I'm giving you fireflies. There's got to be more. <gasps> There's got to be a way. Oh, oh. <gasps> it's interesting. This is like overt game acknowledgement of something magical that May can do and that she knows she can do it. Oh my gosh, okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, May. <laughs> oh god, May, no, don't do that, no. I don't think that's good. Hmm. Alright. So, can we beat each other's projects? Because that's kind of what this is sounding like. I get you to smile and you get me to deal with my unresolved anger. God, May! I missed the first one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Practice. Oh, because Greg's or Angus is not in town. Hmm. All right. So it is ten o'clock, which is usually shut down time for me. I bet I'm gonna have another nightmare. Maybe we should do that. Glass factory. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. We can learn a little bit about Dad. Hmm. <sighs> Bye, hit to key. <laughs> Sweet meats are something entirely different. May's interaction with parents. It's so cute. <laughs> yes, of course. Why would I ever say no? Oh boy. Oh gosh. More comedy. All right. I like. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, we're gonna get into politics. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> uh. 
Oh my gosh. I don't understand comedy, but that's okay. I don't have to understand comedy. Other people can enjoy it for me. All right, May. We have done our dad time. I'm glad we get to watch TV with dad. I also like love that that's just like the thing you do to bond with dads. Is you, you watch TV. You watch bad TV late at night. Like I would come home from babysitting in high school. And sometimes my dad would be the only one still awake. And he would like sit there and watch a movie with the volume off. And I would sit down with him and watch the movie with the volume off. And that's what we would do. Well, shall we have a creepy nightmare? Let's check our emails. And by emails, I mean instant messages from the 90s because that's where we are. Hi. Oh my god. Hi, friend. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special skill. Probably, actually. Yeah. It would actually probably be a good fit. Oh my god. I'm glad that we are on the same page here. <laughs> Oh my god, are they flirting? It's like the sort of interaction where I can't quite tell if it's flirtation or not, but it's like my favorite kind of thing, which is banter. And even though May doesn't bring the like wit to the banter that B does, like they're still well suited. So I could ship that. I could ship that. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <clears throat> Mm hmm Who used to be our drummer? Who used to be our drummer? Whoever it was that used to be our drummer, that's who that is. So it was the whole band. Is that the kid who ran away? That's true. Greg is for whatever it is that May does, but I think he would particularly think that's cool. All right, guys, shall we have a nightmare or shall we go to bed and have the nightmare to start off with next stream? Hmm? I will let you decide because they're usually relatively short. But I do have to go to bed at a relatively decent hour. Oh, I have to move laundry. Oh, no. Good night, Madlands. You think so, Nick? Because there's people turning in, so. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do it. All right, bedtime. Yes, nightmare time. She sleeps on a futon. I've been sleeping on my futon lately. Oh, okay, here we go. This is going to be... Unless there is no nightmare. Oh, nope. Oh, no, four ghosts again. Is there laughing? That was a big fall. All right, so it's some lights in the sky. This is a different song. It makes the night less scary. Like, everything feels so ominous when you first start. You know? But then you start having music, and it doesn't feel like that at all. Which I'm sure is what it's supposed to be. I feel like we're working together to cast back the night, you know? 
And there's that creepy moon again. It's hard to see. The music is very old country feeling though, you know? Which, I mean, I'm pretty sure which I've been through here before. Yes. Yeah, no, the music is really fantastic. I mean, that's ominous, but at the same time, it almost feels like this is more like our ominous. Okay. <gasps> uh oh. Okay, this is really cool. Let's see if there's anything behind here. Oh man. The fact that they're playing the same thing octaves apart really makes it feel powerful. Oh gosh, now I have to like kind of squint and see what I'm doing. And I guess this is the way up. Hi, friend! The lights kind of let you know a little bit where you can go. Okay, I'm gonna... I promise I'm gonna pay more attention this time around. Sorry, I don't wanna not activate any of the light poles. I feel like that's important. I don't know if that's important, but I feel like it is. Yes, okay, so I go here. Got it. I just, I want to light all of the lamps. I feel like that's important. I really, really, really do. Hi, friends! Okay, and then I jumped off the edge there. Whee! Okay, so the creepy red light, I almost, I feel like that is like a cue of where I'm supposed to go, but it might be wrong. I cannot see anything up here. There we go. How do I get up again? Ah. Ah! Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, I'm prepared for it this time. It's a giant squirrel! It does kind of feel like the squirrel has come back for revenge, huh? That's interesting because there aren't any squirrel people, so that's establishing that they're animals instead of animal people, if that makes sense. Um, I guess I don't think there are any squirrel people. Oh my god, my favorite song in the game. So we're going to shut down here. We still have yet to get to the night in the woods of the game's name, I think. Because we've had a night in the woods, but I don't feel like that was the night in the woods. We'll find out. So yeah, that was really fun and good. Um, right, I know, Chrono, but, but for us, I'm just wondering if those are like supposed to be humanoid deities or if they are like animal forest spirits. Uh-oh, I believe we just dropped our cat cam. My apologies. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the new people. If you want, we have a Discord where you can talk. There's a special channel specifically for, um, 
specifically for like games that I am playing like if you want to talk about spoilers without me being around you can say hey add me to the spoiler channel and they'll add you to the spoiler channel and then you can go in there while I'm playing the game and be like oh my god can you believe that she didn't do the thing um but yeah and then I'm on social media and I feel like if you watch Night in the Woods willingly you probably won't mind any of my rants on social media because I feel like there are certain ways in which we align. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I am really delighted to have new friends. And um, thank you so much. Bye.